North Korea asks help China to find US after massive drill in border. South Korea and the United States will resume their annual military drills on Monday. But Ri Ryong Nam, the North Korean ambassador to China, warns that the US is threatening Asia-Pacific countries, adding that North Korea and China should work together. For years, South Korea and the United States have staged military exercises, generally in the spring and summer, even though North Korea for decades has decried them as a rehearsal for war. After some preliminary training started last week, North Korea did not respond to calls on the inter-Korean hotline, which used to be activated on July 28, but North Korea severed the connection years ago. However, Kim Yo-jong, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's sister, did respond to the drills resuming in a statement. The drills are unwelcome, self-destructive action that threaten the North Korean people and raise tensions on the Korean peninsula, she said according to Express. Additionally, Ri Ryong Nam said, it's not difficult to see that the US will strengthen its military activities against the Asia-Pacific countries, including China. The US is the common threat to North Korea and China and the two countries should deal with it by strengthening their cooperation. On a different note, the Joint Chiefs of Staff had issued a statement that did not relate to the context of either North Korea's Kim Yo Jong's or Ri Ryong Nam's statements. The JCS said, the alliance made the decision after comprehensively considering the COVID-19 situation joint defense posture and ways to support diplomatic efforts to denuclearize and foster lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea has not tested a nuclear weapon or an intercontinental ballistic missile since 2017 and a historic meeting between Kim Jong-un and former US President Donald Trump in 2018 raised hopes for a diplomatic breakthrough. Trump had two subsequent meetings with Kim but made no progress in getting North Korea to give up its nuclear and missile programs in exchange for sanctions relief. Kim Byung-ki, another South Korean legislator, said North Korea appeared to have harbored discontent with Washington for not offering concessions for the test freeze. The United States should be able to bring them back to dialogue by readjusting some sanctions, Kim said, citing Park. Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yong-jong, warned South Korea on Sunday that its joint exercises with the United States, which North Korea sees as preparations for an invasion, would undermine a thaw between the two Koreas. Kim Byung-ki quoted Park as saying there was a need to consider responding flexibly to South Korea-US military exercises.
Park Tae-kwung said Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon Jae-in had expressed a willingness to rebuild trust and improve ties since April, and Kim had asked to reconnect the hotlines. The lawmakers said North Korea needed off some 1 million tons of rice, even after releasing reserves saved in case of war, as its economy had been battered by the coronavirus and bad weather.